வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆஃப் திருக்குறள் வித் த டைம்ஸ் வித் மீ பாரதி பாஸ்கர் மை பெரிய அம்மா மை மாம்ஸ் எல்டர் சிஸ்டர் யூஸ் டு ரிமெம்பர் ஆல் பர்த்டேஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் அனிவர்சரிஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் என்டையர் ஃபேமிலி ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் நெய்பர்ஸ் எவ்ரிபடி she did not need any facebook reminder pop ups to tell her whose birthday is falling on which day those were days of landline phone numbers remember and she had all the numbers in her head she did not need any contacts list in her phone to remind her about anybody's number my mom and my chitti um, her younger sister were equally number friendly they can do four digit addition and three digit multiplication in their head without using paper or pencil or a calculator that was perhaps the generation of people who were more number friendly and who were able to remember so many numbers but today i come across people who can't even remember their own phone numbers when i ask somebody for a phone number they use their phone to call my number and say that this is my number uh and these were the days of family members having several numbers right so we have scary ways of recording their contacts i have come across contacts that say mom old papa too wife old husband india husband dubai so scary ways of recording phone numbers right but i was always fascinated with people who were number friendly I studied uh, in a government girls higher secondary school mostly in Tamil medium and um, I just can't forget two of my math teachers Kanthamani teacher who used to give us math brain quizzes and teasers every monday first hour thereby making our sundays miserable for us and another teacher was Tangathamal teacher she used to teach geometry for us those were the classrooms which had very very minimal infrastructure they were not smart classrooms with tv screens and uh, three dimensional figures popping out right so when she was teaching us circles the way she used to draw circles was just by using her sari pallu let me demonstrate that for you she used to keep the chalk piece here and then she used to measure the length let's say 10 cm this used to be the midpoint of the circle and with the chalk piece on the tip of the pallu she used to take the radius and draw the circle perfect circle and tangathamal teacher was very very passionate about numbers i read about plato the great greek philosopher uh, he had a signage at his doorstep which said that people who do not know geometry should not step inside not only plato but all philosophers of that age there are also great mathematicians like thales and pythagoras and plato and others tangathamal teacher would have done the same for us she would have put a board outside the classroom saying if you do not know geometry do not step in only that she didn't have the powers to do so um is the current generation losing its power to remember numbers maybe because the devices that we use or reducing the natural faculty of our brain to be number friendly but surprisingly the devices that we use themselves are completely digital based they used a binary system which has only two digits and the binary system leads on to boolean algebra that leads to complex algorithms that control everything in our life today the logic circuits control everything from the lifts in our apartment to a ride in the space so digits are more important it's not surprising that we value numbers today but 20 centuries ago tiruvalluvar valued numbers more than the alphabets can you believe that that was the age when knowledge was only in verses scriptures were in uh, words and verses but valluvar placed numbers ahead of alphabets he said that when you talk about education there are two fundamental things that you have to have numbers and alphabets these two are like the two eyes in your face but he plays numbers first don't forget that he said that 
numbers and everything else including the alphabets or like the two eyes in the human face. I am just wondering, was he able to visualize or foresee the future that numbers will be ruling the world? I don't know, but this is what he said. Numbers and alphabets, they are like two eyes in the human face. Looking forward to sharing more thoughts about Tirukkural with you in Tirukkural with the Times every Saturday in the Times of India.